A travel guide for visiting the Keelung Miaoko Night Market. This video is part of my series on the best night markets in Taiwan. You'll find links to more at the end of this video or in the description. The Keelung Night Market, while not directly in Taipei, is just a short train ride from Taipei and is one of the best across Taiwan, particularly known for its seafood. They've also done quite a bit with the signage here and there's English signs on every stall. So if you don't speak Chinese, you know at least a little bit what you're getting. To get to the Keelung Night Market from Taipei Main Station, take a TRA train to the Keelung train station. It should be about 50 new Taiwan dollars and somewhere between 35 and 50 minutes. From the train station, you kind of walk your way around the harbor to the night market over here. It takes about 15 minutes to walk. The Keelung Night Mart is a fairly sprawling market, but try to find the temple. The temple is the center of the market, and some of the best stalls are around the temple. And the name of this night market, Miaoko, literally means temple's entrance. Something you'll see in a lot of stands here is the Ding Bian Kuo. It's a noodle soup that has these really big noodles, shrimp, and some pork in it. It's a very mild broth. Quite tasty. Okay, so the verdict afterwards, the soup base tasted kind of like a wonton soup, except with different items in it, and those different items being a very chewy noodle. A stand that's popular at almost any night market in Taiwan are the stands specializing in freshly blended fruit drinks. In season this time of year is papaya. This is papaya milk. Papayan milk in a blender. Mm. It's a very refreshing taste. One of the things I love about getting drinks in Taiwan is how they seal the cups. They use these heat sealing machines to seal the plastic on as the lid. This thing will not spill until you puncture it with the straw. Another popular item here is tempura. Well, not Japanese tempura, but here it's actually fish cake with some sauce on it. Served in a little bowl with a dainty little fork. Kind of sweet, kind of savory, kind of chewy, not too fishy. Only 35 New Taiwan dollars, so pretty reasonable. This is like a fish cake assembly line. One guy puts the fish cakes in the fryer, the other guy with a really long chopstick stirs them, and there's two guys packaging them, one in bowls for here, and the other one in boxes to go. Most of these stands only have a few seats, so if you want to get a seat, be quick to muscle your way in when someone gets up. Otherwise, you can eat and stand around the stall. This stall specializes in cooked to order seafood. You can have the seafood cooked in any way you like, any Chinese dish. You can have a whole dinner here. We are by the sea, so of course there are vendors selling oyster omelets. Omelets. Noodles are always popular. Here they're making a big pile of noodles. Serve with soup. Stall number 46 specializes in curry rice. They have a big vat of curry and they put it on rice. Served up with a spoon. If you're ever not sure what to eat, just pick the place with a long line. Here we see a long line of people waiting for the one bite sausage. At the one bite sausage place, you get bites of sausage on a stick in a bag. How can you go wrong with that? Seven new Taiwan dollars per sausage and it comes with a bunch of garlic so you can keep vampires away. Mmm, I feel healthier and vampire repellent already. And for those who can't do math real well, they have a chart that lets you know how much it is per bite of sausage. It goes up to 50. 50 bites of sausage, 350 new Taiwan dollars. You can also get the Taiwanese version of a burrito, and they call it a mixed vegetable roll. Slightly different ingredients, similar concept. Bunch of stuff rolled up. Mm. It's crunchy, and that's what it looks like inside. Taiwanese roasted corn is always popular in night markets. What makes this different from regular roasted corn is it has an auto turner to roast it over charcoal. Then they put sauce on it. They ask you how spicy you want it. And then they actually toast the spicy sauce into the corn. So, mm, it is actually quite a spicy ear of corn. And it's on a stick. It makes it easy to eat. So I asked for mild. After about eating this for 10 minutes, I can't feel my tongue or my lips anymore. So I think I'm going to have to declare corn defeat. This night market is also famous for its nutritious sandwiches. Crab, crab, and more crab. Wait, wait, wait. Did I mention crab? Here's a tray of crab bodies. 
and here's a tray of crab claws. For dessert, one of the most popular things here is the pow pow bing, or the shaved ice that's been turned into a shake. Their most popular flavor is peanut. Mm. Tastes peanutty. Think Skippy turned into an icy ice cream. It's so cold, you can almost see the cold coming right off it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe or check out some of the other videos I have in this series. Click on any of them to watch.